FSCM Image 47 is the first image to utilize PeopleTools 860. Among many new features, PeopleTools 860 delivers the new Redwood color scheme. The banner contains two selections, a global section at the top and a contextual section at the bottom. The global section of the banner contains common controls, such as the back button, quick access bar items, global search, the home and notifications buttons, the actions menu, and the nav bar. The contextual section displays the title of the content and the contextual actions in the more actions menu. The layout changes aren't applicable to small form factor devices. Many FSCM search pages adopted configurable search where you can view your most recent searches and saved searches. Administrators use configurable search to configure search properties for components that use standard or keyword search, reducing the dependency on application designer. Use the User Profiles page, Lock As Of field, to set user accounts to lock on a future date. This gives security administrators the control and convenience to grant access to users on a temporary basis for contingent workers, or they can lock an entire profile when an employee leaves the company. This completes the description of the new PeopleTools 860 features. You can now create and modify Subledger business units when using the Business Unit Management Activity Guide. In Image 47, Receivables, Billing, and Asset Management are added to the Business Unit Management Activity Guide. The Business Unit Management Questionnaire page asks if you want to create a Subledger business unit. These questions are determined by the system, but you can modify them in Setup pages. Based on responses to the previous questions, the Activity Guide displays setup pages for the selected business unit. As before, the setup pages are sequenced in the order that they should be completed, and dependent steps are highlighted when one should be completed before the next. Select the subledger in the Activity pane and complete the open fields, or use the Review button to access existing subledger definition pages. Use the Receivables Business Unit Definition pages to configure the new business unit. Use the Billing Business Unit Definition pages to configure the new business unit. And use the Asset Management Definition pages to configure the new business unit. This completes the Business Unit Management for Receivables, Billing, and Asset Management feature description. PeopleSoft adds the Deferred Billing exception to the Fluid Projects Work Center to review and update project transactions that have been deferred from billing. The exception allows you to update the billing date for deferred billing transactions, place a contract bill plan on hold, or remove a hold. This completes the Projects Work Center Enhancements description. When accessing the online welcome page to add new suppliers or bidders, you can now choose a template. Templates capture supplier attributes, supplier profile information, and customize registration instructions and terms and conditions. If you don't select a template and proceed to the next step, the system uses the default template for the registration. Use the Choose Template button to select a template from the available templates list for bidder and supplier registration. When creating a change request, the system requires you to select a template before accessing the welcome page. Description, Template Usage, and Entity Type fields are available on the Registration and Change Request Template search pages to filter the template list. This completes the Supplier Registration and Change Request Enhancements description. PeopleSoft enhances the interface with human resource systems when loading employee data. Use the Load Employee Data Run Control page to synchronize the default bank account with your human resources system. 
This completes the Direct Debit Expense Account Number feature description. PeopleSoft FSCM enhances the review depreciation component to inspect historical asset book and cost information without leaving the component. On the Asset Depreciation Asset page, use the Related Content drop-down to select either the Book History or Cost History link. Use the Book History link to view accounting book history for the asset. Book history information is displayed in a split-screen format and appears below the Asset Depreciation Asset page. You can review book history information for the asset, such as accounting date and change type. Use the Cost History link to view cost history for the asset. You can review cost history information for the asset, such as accounting date and transaction type. You can access related content from each page within the Review Depreciation component. This completes the Review Depreciation Enhancements description. This list displays additional features and enhancements added for FSCM Update Image 47. You can now enable real-time indexing in General Ledger and Receivables. E-Procurement adds the RTI Batch Switch option to turn off indexing during large volume batch jobs. E-Bill Payment includes direct debit invoices in the Total Balance on the Invoice Balances page and allows you to change the payment method of direct debit invoices when making payments. In Supplier Relationship Management, you can now define a default date range for Manage Obsolete Requests and View Registration Request History. Mobile Inventory Management enhances the put-away process to automatically run when saving the put-away page. The Create Asset Copies page includes the Location and Area ID fields. And the Work Order Schedules page, Purchase on Hand Grid, includes the new Supplier Item ID and Item Status and a reorganized grid layout. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft Update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the Update Image Overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.